Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to redo trailer bunks the right way. I noticed there weren't too many videos out on YouTube how to uh, do this process correctly. So first things first, you go get yourself some pressure treated lumber. I just got this from, from Home Depot. Um, and as you can tell, it's all pressure treated. Um, it didn't have this coating on here when I purchased it. This is the stuff I used. This is from Rust-Oleum. It's just spar uh, varnish, <clears throat> uh, clear gloss. This is for marine coatings. I got this off Amazon. It's about 10 bucks uh, for a quart. It works really well. I did about uh, three coats on here, so it's not. it wasn't too bad at all. Um, and then I just got myself some uh, bunk carpet off Amazon. Really inexpensive as well. And my boat is a, a Sanger V210. So these are 12 foot trailer bunks. So I did have to cut the lumber, but I did not have to cut the carpet. So let me show you how, how I'm doing this process the most effective way. So at my end result, this is what I want it to look like. I want it to look nice and clean. It does involve um, a couple cuts right here. And then, um, of course, always use stainless steel staples. What I'm using is just a Stanley stapler off Amazon. And I'm using Arrow T50 staples. Always use stainless steel for marine environments so it just doesn't rust. That's what you want to get right here. Half inch, that's fine. I've seen some other people on different forms use different lengths, but I think half inches will do just fine. All right, let's go ahead and do this side now. Let's see. So I've stapled all on each side. You just pull it together, staple it. I do a staple every about uh, five or six inches apart from each other. Try to get it as tight as possible. And then go ahead, make your cut, whether, whether you wanna use a um, razor blade or scissors, either way. Make your cut right here on each side. right at the corner of the piece of wood. This is so we can fold it and make it look nice and clean before we staple it. Otherwise you're gonna run into um, issues with it being too thick and bulky. And it's not gonna look right and it won't perform the way you will want it to. Just make sure you cut all the way to the, to the board. That's good, so here's what it looks like. Now, we're gonna fold this side onto the back of the board. And you notice there's a lot of um, excess carpet. We're gonna cut that off real quick. So first thing, I'm gonna cut this top portion a little, just down an inch or two. There we go, now that folds better. Now we have excess up top, so I'm gonna cut that off. Right through the side. You notice this piece comes over past this board, so I'm gonna go ahead and this doesn't have to be super exact. I'm just gonna cut off about an inch right here. You just don't want it hanging over because we're gonna staple it and it won't be as clean. Okay? So it looks much better. Let's go ahead and staple that, get it tight as possible. Push down hard on the staple. I've noticed on the staple gun, make sure you're pushing hard and put a little weight on the on the top of the staple staple gun. It makes these staples go much further. If you otherwise, if you don't, you'll have to hit these staples in with a hammer, just so they're in, just so they're penetrating far enough into the wood. Um, and yeah, again, this wood I'm using is just um, pressure treated lumber from from Home Depot. I think this is pressure treated for. I know there's a, on the forms, there's a lot of um, speculation whether to use um, all these different types of lumber, um, but this pressure treated fur 
this should do just fine. You know, it should it should last at least 10 years since I sealed it all with the polyurethane. That's key. Seal it. Make sure you seal with the polyurethane. There you go. That one didn't get too far. All right. There's that. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Cut off about an inch. Okay. I'm gonna cut right here, just how we did that side. All right. Stretch it out. Make sure it's nice and tight. Staple. That one didn't go through. Yeah, you have to push kind of hard on the staple gun. Make sure, make sure it's penetrating through two pieces of lumber. Looks like I'm out of staples. All right. Just throw the staples in this way. Throw this piece back on. Easy enough. All right. I like to do about three. All right. And in order to get this done properly, to make it look the cleanest, I don't really like the way this looks and it leaves a gap for um, water and other debris to get in. So what I do here is I found it's best to make a, make a small cut diagonally into the center of this board, just like I did on that side. So my end result, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look more like this. That looks a lot cleaner to me. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to make a small cut. Not in the very center, because we want two inches of carpet to cover this board, just so it looks flush with the other carpet on each side. So you're gonna cut maybe an inch in. You can just kind of eyeball it. it doesn't have to be super exact. And I'm gonna make one small cut right here. Yeah, it looks super clean. Make one extra cut. So it ends up perfectly there. Perfect. There we go. Pull it tight. Uh, Pull it tight as you can, hold it down, grab your staple gun, one in the center first. There you go. And then I like to overlap the staple. Another piece of carpet just to hold down everything super firmly. And then I like to do just as many staples as as it takes to get these um, edges to, to lay flat and flush. Put them in the center, a couple on the bottom. And then that's super clean looking. A couple, a couple spots right here I don't like. Let's sit up. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Um, the hardest part is probably just um, putting the polyurethane coat over this because you have to wait for it to dry and everything. But it's really not too bad. Just find a paintbrush that you're, you, you don't mind throwing away afterwards because it's really hard to get that polyurethane off of paintbrushes. Um, but yeah, looks super clean. And this is gonna withstand 
a lot of a lot of fun in the years to come. You won't have to redo this for about another 10 years. Mine were just thrashed. So there you go. I'll be doing the same thing on this side. Thanks for watching.